Welcome to the second part of a little bit more, a little bit less. In this lesson, we're going to see if we can use what we learned in our first lesson to answer some more difficult questions. So let's start with uh, using this question to help us answer some harder questions. Um, four groups of 30. Um, so let's see what that would look like. That's one group, two groups, three groups four groups, and in each of those groups I have got 30. Now I know four groups of 30 is 120. I'm going to see how I can use that to help me answer this question here. Four groups of 32. So I'm going to think to myself, how does four groups of 30 look different from four groups of 32? And the answer is, in each of these groups, they have two more. So, four groups of 32 is the same as four groups of 30, which we already know is 120. So that's these groups here, 30, 60, 90. 120 plus four groups of two, which is eight. And I've got those bits up here. Two, four, six, eight. So now I just need to add those two amounts together. 120 plus eight is 128. So four times 32 must be 128. Now let's see if we can answer uh, 3 times 28. Right, I'm going to do another picture over here of what that looks like. Three groups. And each of those groups have got 28, well, 28 counters in them. Now that question is quite hard to answer, so I'm going to see if I can think of another question which is similar to it, but which I'd find easier to answer. Well, I think three groups of 30 is pretty close to it and it's easier to answer because I'm really good at multiplying tidy numbers. So that's what that would look like. Three groups with 30 in each group. And three groups of 30 equals 90. 30, 60, 90. Now let's see, I actually only had 28 though didn't I? 28 here, 28 here, and 28 there. So I need to think, what did I do to change them into 30? Well, I cheated a little bit by uh, adding in the 2 here. I cheated a little bit over here by adding in another 2. See how I'm changing them from 28 to 30? And I cheated again over here by adding another 2 to that group. So now we have to fix up that cheating. I worked out 3 groups of 30 equals 90, which is this bit here. And now I'm subtracting all those numbers that I added in to cheat, to bring them up from 28 to 30. Well, I can see I cheated three times. I did it in this group, group 1, I did it over here in group 2, and I did it over here in group 2, uh, 3. So that is three groups where I cheated. And how much did I cheat by? Well, on each of them, I added 2. So that means in total, I cheated by adding an extra 6. So now it's time to... Uh, to take away those 6 that I added. So 90 minus 6 equals 84. So 3 times 28 must equal 84. Now let's try a, a harder question. Let's try 7 times uh, 99. So I'm thinking of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 groups, and in each of those groups I would have 99 sweets or lollies or whatever I'd like to have in there. And while I'm doing that I'm thinking of what question could help me answer that, because this looks very hard at the moment. Well I noticed that 99 is very close to being a tidy number. If this question was 7 times 100, that would be really easy to, for me to answer. I know 7 times 100 is 700. So now I need to think, 
how can this question here help me answer this trickier question there? Well, what I could do is I could change this 7 times 99, so that instead of having 99 in all of them, it is 7 times 100. To do that, all I'd need to do is cheat by adding one counter to each of these groups. I'll just have to remember at the end that I'll need to take away these uh, counters that I'm adding on. So, what I did first of all is I changed them so that there's now 100 counters in each group. See, 99 plus 1, and I've done that to every group. 7 times 100 is 700, and now I need to take away all those uh, little counters here that I cheated by adding. Well, you can see I did it 7 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, to each of those 7 groups. And in each of those 7 groups, I added one more counter. So, 7 groups of 1 equals 7. So I had 700, but now I need to take away those 7, uh, seven counters that I cheated by adding. So, 700 minus 7, 693. So, 7 times 99 must be 693. And I haven't given my myself much space, but there we go. Hopefully you've found this lesson helpful. Uh, if you need any more help, check out teachertools.co.nz.